Thank you all for coming. I'm so excited to talk about some swim caps and for you guys to give us your hair stories, right? This is gonna be like a natural conversation. I'm gonna talk about like our childhoods um, and I'm gonna ask questions about like why do you feel like some women who didn't learn how to swim in their youth would maybe stray away from swimming now, right? Obviously our hair is one of the big reasons why we don't go in the pool, right? So we'll start with Allison. When did you learn how to swim? Okay, sure. So, um, I don't know exactly how to swim. I just grew up loving the water. I'm a water baby. I wanted to be in the water all the time, the pool, the beach, wherever, wherever the water was, that's where I wanted to be. Um, I know that my mom took me to the pool all the time, but I feel like I self-taught myself how to swim as an adult because I like to be in the water. Do you ever feel like sometimes you don't want to swim because you're concerned about your hair? Or Absolutely. So I would say um, part of the reason about three years ago that I cut all my hair off was because I liked to um, get in the water and work out but didn't want to have to worry about my hair. So yeah, I, I, I think that's also not just the the pool but like even exercising it's so much stuff that you have to consider when um you're a black woman with your hair uh getting any type of moisture in it like it, it will definitely deter you from your life i agree right i mean it definitely stops me sometimes when we're here filming at my pool i have a pool that i can go to all the time but sometimes i think about okay well is this a wash day or is my hair you know if i just do my hair then i'm not going to want to get in the pool that day exactly. right more recently my hair is going back but i'm keeping it in all protective styles because i still have the same um routine but what's crazy is my braids are all the way down to my butt and they fit all in this cap like i've never uh seen a cap that could fit braids like usually the braids are you know just hanging out the bottom but like this cap fits braids in it and i'm um i'm really surprised okay bethany i know that you have not learned how to swim yet okay so what is some of the reasons why you haven't decided to learn at an older age um I mean, like her, I've been going to the beach in the pool my whole life. My mom would always say, don't you mess up your hair. Yeah. And keep your hair dry. Yeah. And we tried other methods of keeping my hair safe and washing it was really bad afterwards. I've always had a lot of long hair. Mm -hmm. So it was hard for us to keep the sand out of it and get the chlorine out of it. Yeah. And the after effects weren't worth it to me. So I just stopped going tried different swim caps and my mom would always say oh you'll be fine and I'd be horrified to get in the water and I would get in it and I'd feel it just swooping up under the cap and, and always at least my edges which are what we need to protect the most was damaged so as I've been trying this cap it's not bad at all because it's you know it's snug you can see that it's close around your head it doesn't hurt when you move it or adjust it so it's nice and it's staying there so I don't feel like I'm gonna keep getting wet up under, not even where my ears are. It feels snug there too. So I enjoy this cap. And as an adult, people would say, oh, I'll teach you how to swim. And I'd usually say, I'm fine. I don't go in the water. I know how to not drown. Right. So that's enough for me. Can I say too, because we spend a lot of money, and I think part of the reason why maybe our mothers would have said, to not get your hair wet, is because they know they have invested money into up or whatever and we don't want it to be fuzzy or damaged or whatever. Nevada. <laughs> when did you learn how to swim? I don't know how to swim. Okay. Um, it was just talking to mm -hmm. So just knowing how to jump in and go yeah. out here but nothing um, to the extra, uh, the level of the um, I like to swim just to have fun. Mm -hmm. um, nothing beyond that. Um, and of course, anybody that's swimming, they want to swim with confidence that their hair won't get wet or that their hair doesn't get damaged. Mm -hmm. Such as myself, I like to make sure that my hair stays moisturized um, in the healthy state that it is in. Mm -hmm. And I've seen many women have to cut off their hair or they have dead ends due to the chlorine because it has that bleach chemical in it. 
very secure on my head um, it's not tight but I know um, I've tried other, other caps um, caps for my daughter um, and as soon as you get in the water it's just like all the water submerges inside the cap um, and knowing that this cap is able to actually do its job without having to worry about oh I can't go out um, I have to do my hair or oh I won't get in the water because I don't want to get my hair wet um, so I'm just going to sit on the side of the pool. No, you can actually have, you know, fun with your family and friends knowing that your hair won't get wet. I know for a fact at one point you were getting your hair done once a week, maybe twice a week. Yeah. So how much money would you say that you have probably invested in your hair? When I was going to the salon, it was just a basic um, wash and flat iron. So I would pay at the max $80. $80 then you would do that sometimes yeah. twice a week <laughs> very expensive it adds up i'm just saying you know for other cultures like they don't usually get their hair done as often and it doesn't yeah. necessarily cost them as much you know yeah. they might go six months mm -hmm. and right and like you say the culture they experience more so on the side of higher prices because they determine length the length the texture of your hair and those sorts of things and that also you know yeah, because your hair was very long. Mm -hmm. So she probably charged you a little bit more because your hair probably didn't even fit in the thing. Yeah. It was so long. So since 2015, I started going back on my journey of trying to have um, my curly stick. I got used to flat ironing my hair um, once a week. Um, and so going back on that journey, um, I have come a long way. Um, <laughs> but there's more work to do. Um, now i pretty much wash my hair maybe every three weeks and i just use a co-wash in between so that it's not stripping the oils out my hair are you afraid of the water at all i'm not yeah. i'm comfortable with getting this water i don't get fucked up with water i'm afraid of water you are? I am far by the water. Okay, I haven't done this in years, guys. Let's do this. Yeah. Am I drowning? No. <laughs> I love it. No way. Okay. See, I can do this and not drown. <laughs> good. Good, yes. Okay. Is your hair dry? Wow. I have to go get three. <laughs> right. my, sister, my sister already ordered one. Oh, yeah. good, good. I love it. See that it has like a, a rivet? Yeah. A rivet in the rim? I think that's what's making the difference. I bought Speedos and I've had $60 one that did not work, but this one's working fine. I'm very surprised my hair is dry. Mine's very dry. I mean, like, I feel like I didn't necessarily have it, but like, it, it's dry. Like, it's dry. Size one little spot in the back. That's it. It may have been something on my part. <laughs> Bethany, Allison, Cabana, and we love swimming caps. The um the top. I love how it just slips on and slips off. Like it's it's easy to go over my hair, and then like when I'm done with it, it just slips off the material. It just helps it um, slip off, which I think would be also helpful to not damage your hair. So when I took mine off, it didn't hurt my hair. I didn't feel any pull. Even turning it around to make it more straight. I was afraid that it would pull my hair out because it looks like a rubber, but it's like a silicone instead. <laughs>